I've been on this cruise ship for two nights total so far. Yesterday we stopped off at Ishigaki Island um, in Japan, which is like kind of, you know, it's one of like the Okinawan Islands. And then today we've just stopped off at Keelung in Taiwan. It's, it's interesting to see like what it's like to be on a cruise ship and whether or not it's a good form of travel. I don't even know if I'm in the frame. Am I in the frame? I suppose I can't really tell. Oh, I am in the frame. Oh, that's nice. Hello. I think I have everything. Okay. So this is something that I didn't quite expect. We docked in the city at 8 o'clock, but it's now 9.30 and we still haven't been able to get off the boat yet. They're waiting for approval from immigration or the coast guards or whatever, whoever's in charge of that decision. One little roadblock that's in our way of trying to see as much as we can in, in the short time that we've got. And we've got to be back on the boat by 4 p.m. Well, I mean, that's I think that's when the ship is leaving, so we can be back before 4 p.m. So. Surprise! We actually have to be back by 2.30. Okay, we gotta go. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the first place we're heading to is called Zhongzheng Park. Please pay no attention to my pronunciation in this whole video. Pretty much one of the main things that you can see here, I think. Seems like you can get there in walking distance, so we're gonna walk around. Also, walking's a great way to just see the cities, so. but do you have a disease? <laughs> so I already kind of feel like even the just the walk that we've had in through the city there's so many things that I want to like explore and I just want to like stand around and take photos and videos of everything but have enough time it's really cool it's really beautiful so far I mean we've literally been here for 20 minutes but it's nice <laughs> It looks somewhat like what, maintenance, Main maintained. Wow, oh, English, very good. Here we have a Taiwanese vending machine. This is very high quality vlog material, but look at this. It's Coca-Cola, it's white. Wow! The world is so crazy! I do actually love looking at like vending machines when I'm overseas. Vending machines and convenience stores and grocery stores just because, I don't know, I, I really love seeing like what are the, the kinds of snacks in that country and the foods. So we're at a different park right now. Um, tangent. It's really impressive. It's huge. Much bigger than I thought it would be. And considering it's so close to the port, it's actually a really good, really good city to see things in a short amount of time because everything's quite close, which is nice. Apparently you're allowed to ding it. Don't get mad at me if I'm not. Oh, okay. It's harder than I thought. That's so cool. Look at this guy's eyebrows make some kind of joke about eyebrows on fleek or something but I'm not one of the kids <laughs> <laughs> I'm not down with the hip the hippity hop the light lingo 
So I've noticed that um, a lot of the passengers, when they get off at the port, they'll just go straight into a, a taxi and the taxi will like take them around to different areas. But of course that can be expensive. Depending on the country though, I guess. I'm not sure what it's like in Taiwan, but in Ishigaki, where we were before, we were only traveling for a couple of hours, but it ended up being like a hundred dollar bill at the end, which is fine to split with my people, but by yourself it can be very expensive. I've also noticed that the cruise ship doesn't, they don't give you information about the place that you're going to, or like a sightseeing guide of like, these are the things that you should see while you're here. I mean, I guess it's not their job to do that kind of thing, but with the Wi-Fi being as crappy as it is on board, it makes it difficult for you to do your own research. And it also makes it easier for the cruise company to sell their own tours. Um, it's all about upselling with cruises, definitely. We're just kind of seeing like as much as we can with the limited research and knowledge that we have on the area, so it can be kind of difficult. What do we got? Sea salt latte. I actually kind of want to try that. Sea salt milk tea. Ooh, ooh. Strong zero. Missing Japan already. <gasps> These drinks. These are like super famous in Hong Kong, I'm pretty sure. I don't know where they started, but they're really, really good. I think this is taro. Oh no, it's just Sila milk tea. Yum. Oh, I want to try everything, but I got no money. So we're walking down one of the main areas in Kilung, which is apparently at night time they've got a night market from 5 p.m. onwards. So I'm assuming that they kind of take over the whole street and they, it just like fills up with people and food and delicious things like that that unfortunately we cannot experience because uh, we have to be back on the ship before then. So that's definitely one of the negatives is that you only get to see the city in the daytime. You never get to see the nightlife, night markets, that kind of thing. It's unfortunate because there's a lot of fun and culture to be seen at night time. Oh, this is quite cool. We're now heading up to, it's like an abandoned house basically. It's abandoned but it's been turned into like a historical site so it should be cool. places like this it looks like straight out of a movie set or like a fight scene or you could do oh my gosh that is just the coolest thing <laughs> this is awesome I mean there's probably all kinds of snakes and insects in here but it's so cool holy shit oh. Oh. every part of the cow oh yeah <laughs> pretty much like an hour and a bit until we need to go back onto the ship which is just right there. I feel like we've actually managed to see quite a lot today but not like a lot a lot but enough to get like a pretty good taste of the city but I think that's just because Keelong this city is like it's such a, a, a port city is that the right word probably not it's really built up right around the port which is nice whereas Ishigaki where we were yesterday the port was so far away from like anything really that it made it quite difficult to actually get to see anything in the daytime but this city is actually really good for a quick sightsee if that makes sense yeah I really want to fly my drone but the Wi-Fi on the ship doesn't work for regular internet it only works for social media so I wasn't able to like actually Google to see if I could legally fly my drone here so I'd rather not get locked up in jail for flying my drone I mean you never know 
my eyelashes keep getting stuck together and it's piercing me off. <laughs> yeah, I was actually like quite surprised at how easy it was to see a lot. Like right. even the temple like looked really far away, but it actually wasn't too far to walk. What's my camera doing there? Weird. Overall, I'm like quite happy with the amount of stuff that we got to see. It's kind of good. It's given me the travel bug a little bit more, so it's made me feel like, oh, I, I want to explore more of Taiwan, or like I want to get to travel out of, out here just a little bit more, that kind of thing. So it's been good for that, I feel. But um, in terms of like uh, actually getting to really experience the country or like you know dive deep into into the culture, it's a little bit more difficult. Apart from that. There's the other side of whether or not cruise ship travel is actually good, and that is how sustainable it is, like for the economy, the economy, not the economy, the eco ecology, the e how eco-friendly is it? There would have to be a lot of a lot of research, and that goes into um, comparing the two options. Honestly, I don't even know if I'd be able to do it, but I'll, I think I might give it a go. My eyelashes keep sticking together. What in the world? Anywho, um. That's pretty much <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. And you can also follow me on Instagram. I also have Patreon that's got free content. And there is an announcement right now. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, I should probably stop recording. Hmm.